Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is about global variables and setting them up on your Jumper T16 and OpenTX. Now my example I'm giving you is where I've used the global variables to set up aileron differential on your model. Now you can set up aileron differential so that the down going aileron doesn't go down as far as the upward going aileron does. This can help um, reduce the drag, which can help adverse yaw on your aeroplane. I've never actually put it into practice and actually done it on a plane, but I've set it up now so that when the lockdown I can go and fly, I'm going to test it. And what I did, you'll see from this video, I set it up on a switch so I can actually in flight adjust that so that I could find out what was the best setting and then I would set it up permanently and take it off the switch. So, okay, let's go and have a look at the radio and I'll show you how to do this. Right, let's take a look at the settings for the global variables and how I use them for the aileron differential. Okay, I'm in my little cheetah model. Let's push the model button and then page. Now, the first thing I did was set up the modes and you can see them all here, how I've set those up. Now, we've gone through this before in other videos, but I've got armed, and disarmed and then I've set up armed aileron differential one differential two differential three now what I've done for this purpose is I've set up two levels I beg your pardon three levels that's 30 percent 40 and 70 and I just I wouldn't use the 70 percent in practice because I think it'd be far too much I'll try it. I'll give it a go when I take the plane out and fly it but that is just for demonstration purposes so that I can show you the ailerons, uh, how they operate, move on the on the aeroplane. Okay, then we need to go to our mixes. Now in the mixes, it gets a little complex, but let me just go through. Okay, I'm gonna go back actually. We need to have two lines for each of the servos because this aeroplane has a servo for each aileron in each wing. Okay, so we are gonna just go and edit. And you can see I named the mix uh, aileron. The source is the aileron. And then on the first one, we have to put GV1. We're going to come to that in a minute. So that's global variable one. And our differential has to be set at 100%. Okay. Then we go into the second line of the first aileron servo. I haven't named it, and this one has to be minus GV2, which is global variable two, and no differential. Now you can play around with these settings yourself. You know, once you set up, just change the figures and see and see what happens. But this is how it actually has to be set up to work. Okay. Then of course we go down to the second servo, and again the same thing. The first first line is global variable one. And this time it's minus 100% differential. In the second line of the second servo, we have to put minus GV2, global variable two, and no differential. So that's the settings. Now you could always just pause the video and then write those settings down if you try and set this up on your model. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the next page. Now this is the global variables page. Now in here, if I move, push enter and move across, you'll see that up in the top there, that, that is value for flight mode zero, and then so on, flight mode one, flight mode two, flight mode three, flight mode four. So you have to make sure you set up uh, the global variables for each flight mode. Because when I was first doing this, I couldn't get these, um, the ailerons to actuate or work when it was in, it was uh, uh, disarmed, but I sorted that problem out. So in this case, the first flight mode, there will have to be zero. In this, in GR, GV1, we have to put in minus 100, and then as we go across, you'll see there's the percentages that I want to have on this switch here. So if I move this out the way and I actuate switch, let me turn the volume up. So now you see, 
nothing's happening because we are disarmed. So I'm going to arm. Now you see that we're on 30%. If we click the button, we're going to uh, flight mode uh, four and then flight mode five is 70%. You can see it's showing us which one we're on. Okay. Then in the second line, now because we are using in this example two servos, we have to have a global variable two because obviously the we, we, on, we only want the adjustment in the down elevator, not the up elevator. The up elevator must move completely other than if you have um, your dual rates on. So the way we do that is we have a global variable two and in there uh, flight mode zero is zero plus 100 in flight mode one and then all the way through they must be a hundred now if you follow these instructions that I've given you you will then be able to have a long differential I'm going to look I'm going to look at this at setting up um, flaps which I would probably use the same way but later later I will I will do a video on that so that you can use flapperons to um, have flaps on your aeroplane but I will look at that at another date okay I'm going to go back to my um, studio camera to show you the ailerons working okay let's take a look at the uh, aileron differential and the global functions in operation okay I've got my little aeroplane hopefully you'll be able to see this let me pop a battery in there turn my radio on my trusted jumper T60. Oh dear. Switch warning. Mm -mm. Oh, there we go. Train is on. There we go, we're linked. What are you? Okay, so I'm using my little pinky plane. Oh dear, message. Oh, that's from my sister in the UK. Okay, I'll talk to her in a moment. Busy at the moment. Okay, right. Okay, the model is disarmed. And I'm going to try and do this. You see, now when it's disarmed, the, the ailerons are going to move the full throw. I wasn't too worried about that. I just wanted it to be able to operate when it was disarmed so that you can check the orientation. Now, if we now arm the aeroplane and... We are on 30%. Now, you're probably not going to be able to see the difference in the up and down motion, but let's make it take it to 70. Okay, the radio is going to go. Let's see if we can. Uh, it's going to be a bit difficult, isn't it? Okay, All right, let's try that. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can, but you can see the downward is a lot less than the upwards. Hopefully you can see that and then we can adjust it. If, it. if it's only on 30%, you won't really see it. But if I hold the control down and then change, if we go to the downward one, you'll see it starts coming up. The other side is not moving at all. And there we go. That's the aileron differential and it's working fine. Well, my radio is having a fit saying all the warnings. Okay, that's the next thing I want to work on is um, how to not get it to make the sounds until it's booted up. Okay, right, there we go then. That's, that's, that's that explained to you. Okay. Right, bye. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching it. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and please share it with your friends. And if you have any comments to make, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching it. Bye for now. Bye. Happy flying. Disarm motor.